Alrighty, welcome back guys. We're in another episode. Um, the base is going. We're doing some research up to Robo uh, Speed 8. You can tell they are quite a bit faster. We're making modules. Uh, you said we have like a thousand beacons, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I've asked for more Robo Ports to be made next because we're going to need that. Oh yeah, definitely. It's currently chugging away on them. I'm just going to... Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Um, and so now... We're going to play around with some designs. Uh, we had one we were messing around with last time. I don't remember if I was on an episode for this or not, but um, the general idea for this was to have ore unloads um, on the top, bottom here, and then plate load in the middle, and like have smelters up top, smelters down bottom. Um, but then uh, Can, who's come up with a great, a lot of great designs for us and stuff, came up with a design we're going to import and take a look at here. Prepare for lag. It's not a blueprint string. Are you sure? I disagree. Sure, there's like one. There was like a weird space in there or something. You're doing it all wrong. There we go. Um, this thing's big. I don't know where we want to. We probably because do we actually want it? Somewhere where we can actually connect it to the main line. So we can test it. Okay, you actually want to like full test it, so we want to build build it. Might as well. Okay. Um, if we're gonna build it, it might as well sit here and be useful. Okay, then how about like right where I'm standing? Does that work? I I don't I can't see what you're holding. So. Well, I mean like centered on where I'm standing. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me move. So we can hook it into that main line on the right. Oh wow. Um, let me hook to main. Oh, it's already hooked. Fine. Excellent. So, according to big. him, this should smell like 20k a minute plate output. That produces 20.1 iron or copper plate a minute from 16.8k ore input. Um, it needs a full ore train every 28 seconds. And provides a full plate train every 47 seconds. And it needs like a little over a thousand robots. Okay, let's give it some power. Um, so we need furnaces, modules. I don't know why we're missing modules. We had hundreds. Oh, here they come. I think it's robot lag. <laughs> <laughs> Furnaces, um, science doesn't make them. Oh, yeah. Maybe we don't have them in the network. Yeah, I think that's the case. We just didn't bother automating them because science builds them. Oh, science. Stack inserters. The make everything should make those. Yeah, you might need to go yell at it. Where's Mojo? What are you doing? Oil. Aha, our trusty outpost builder. Oil is one of the big bottlenecks at the minute. Oh yeah, I did kind of notice that when I was on before. Yeah, and I fixed that little thing with the beacons. That's why there's a thousand now. Oh, cool. Uh, well, this thing's already decided to start. Um, it looks like we're not making stack inserters. Oh, mm. We have no red circuits, is what it's waiting on. It probably all went to RoboPorts. As soon as this is built, we need to disconnect it from the main network. Uh, yeah. Cap the top chests. Oh, the requesters? Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's requesting... 
for the main base. I'm on it. Okay, you can yeah, do that. Stealing all of our plate. Um, okay, I'm gonna bring this line out. Yeah, we need some stack inserts. Yep. 91 of them. Uh, I can't hank off that many. I can make. I happen six. to be in a train full of them. Oh, I know where we can get some from. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they went. Yoink! That's a dangerous game you're playing. To yank, pull them out while it's moving. <laughs> it's always barely moving. Yeah, it's, only, it's barely moving. It was harmless. Right, um, if we name this um, the same as the iron unloads. And then I'll name this thing iron plate pickup. It can pick, it's going to be the new iron pickup for the um, oil industry. Oh, okay. Um... Has it? As it's here, it might as well earn its keep. Yeah. Um, well, shoot. I'm not really sure how we're going to... I probably should have just built this higher. I'm not sure how we're going to disconnect this from the main network. Because if I move these down here, it's going to break stuff. Maybe. I can maybe move these under the track. Yeah, well... I can move this one down under the modules. Wow, look at that connection. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just just over a smidge, I think, should do it. There we go. No. Oh, part of the module build's not in the logging network Shoot. now. Um, this... No, don't connect. I didn't connect. I think I can grab oh, it. This... This robot here is trying to okay, that's good. trying to latch on. I think we're good. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have a feature request. You know, like you can shift click uh, power poles and then manually hook them up. I want to do that with robot ports. Oh, that would be so nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Okay, so now we just need to send an ore train here. And actually connect the track. Um, when, yeah, and get it a thousand bots. Well, it's got thirteen hundred bots and three hundred construction. Uh, which way is the oil industry from here? It's up. So the iron output train only needs to go up. Um, hmm. Okay, that could like that. Perfect. Train. My bots would have gotten clobbered, not me. Um, so he's gonna leave. This, I guess, can just connect to something. I'm gonna go take away the old little botched iron load. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is a fast train. That that scared me. That one was definitely moving, huh? Yeah, that one was 100% moving. Can't confirm. You know they're moving moves. at 60, 60. Yeah, it's scary. That's it. We gotta bring it below 60, 60. Build more. You heard him. I have permission. <laughs> I'm authorized to start doubling C stuff. C think track C train. I'm fine now. C track think train. Oh, I'm just going to stand away from that area. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd have died at that point, that would have been as good as the other day. Yeah, it probably would have. I'm fine now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I wonder if we need double port down here. I don't know. It looks to be okay. Wow, this is a long train track. Yeah. That's what happens when you tell me to build trains and then I get 
mowed down by one. You didn't even sync late properly. Ugh. I didn't signal properly because I didn't get finished. I died before <laughs> I could. <laughs> well, that's just not good enough. Die on your own time. It was my own time. I was peacefully signaling. And some jerk sent a train over here. No, some, tra some jerk sent the train long before you was ever there. <laughs> they tricked me. Um... I even warned you. I thought you were just saying it to say it. Um, so do we... Oh, train's here. Have you, um, rerouted the iron pickup, the plate train? Yeah, I named it the stain and the old station's gone now, so... Hmm. In theory, it should. I think it sits at the oil for a while. It really wasn't using it much. No, it doesn't need that much plate. No, so this is, like, way overkill, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Way over kill. But at least it will. Yeah. As it's here, might as well. Well, this could be an issue, because I think it's stealing all of our iron ore trains that should be going to the main base. I thought you wanted to test it. Well, we do, but we need to do something with the plate. Our main base is probably going to be starved here soon. It looks like it doesn't imp the train zone unload fast enough. What do you mean? Or the train was pulling out in the um, provider chests were em empty. Well, we could always just stick more on the other side. It's easy enough. I probably need another unloader. Well, that'd be easy enough, because if we had a main line here, yeah? What's yeah. to stop us doing... You know. Yeah, just that. Two or three, even. Well, why... Just do something like that, and then put another unloader. There you go, now it's running on the track again, you know. Well, why wouldn't you just have a stacker and just have the trains go in and out? Because then you can unload two at the same time. Okay. More faster. Um, so to... He says don't add more trains, you'll have bot charging issues. Well, it's gonna sit idle. Well, no, if you build a stacker and then just have trains cycle in and out of the one station every 30 seconds, it won't be idle. Train. I'm safe. <laughs> so we would need like six, if we went with this, we would need like six of these designs to support our 100k a minute iron we need. Okay, um... How far away would the next one need to start to keep them... If we brought the trains in from underneath, mm -hmm. the next one can start... This rover port could be there. If we brought the trains from underneath and then hook a left. Okay, so build them horizontally? If we or yeah, oh, I'm just yeah. you know, so I think if we build the because we've got this bit here from the last rover port, the beacon stick out, mm -hmm. which means that that means if if you've got your blueprint, yeah, yeah, I measured. You're right. Yeah, does the builds is there much gap between the actual builds? Um, if this was the left rover port of the next one. Go to your left, like five or six tiles to your right, uh, right about. There is the edge. Mm -hmm. So that's the gap between the That's buildings. not too bad. Yeah. That's not too bad. That's room for trains to go through if needs be. Yeah, it shouldn't be bad. Actually, it could. We could, because the iron plate train could come up between them. Mm hmm To get in and out. And then we have some sort of train magicalness underneath it. Right, yeah, and then the so the plate 
from this other one that I'm doing would come out as well, like down. Sort of. Or trains in, like, if we had double track, mm -hmm. whatever, it also be in the center. And then you put in your next design, and then the next one would come up. Something like that, maybe. Right. And then this line would continue like that, and then the ore train would hook in uh, uh, like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would work. Um... So we'd have six or whatever main line niche type things, mm -hmm. which could all feed from a central uh, stacker. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Um, Although uh, getting them to path would be difficult. Yeah, you would almost need a stacker it... per thing, or per two at least. But then they're going to favor the nearest ones all the time. It's going to be the problem. But I mean, if you make a dedicated stacker for like. Like two, like for every two smelters, and you, um, like, like actually make the stacker like the kind where it has a station on it, and you name, like, all the stations in the stacker like stacker one, and then the next one like stacker two, or whatever, mm -hmm. and you send the trains there, then they're forced to go to the whatever stack you send them to, and then if it's only trying to path to like two smelters worth, yeah, but that means you have to micromanage. Which outpost supply which stacker? Yeah, that's the problem. I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to do it. Wait, because, yeah. If you do name them all the same, the trains are going to just never path to like half of them. Yeah. So is this meant to be two of them mirrored either side of a uh, line coming in? Oh, that would work. What do you mean? Yeah. You mean one down here? Yeah. No, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> like so this roboport is a, fl a mirror flip of the one to the left. That yeah. would work. That would be quite neat, actually. Drain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, man. <laughs> he sneaked up on you quietly there. <laughs> You're lucky I put that selfie. second condition on the signal. <laughs> oh man, that was scary. <laughs> Lightning fast reflexes though. Ah! Yeah, it was... <laughs> he literally jumped about four tiles. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been further if I could. <laughs> Like, how many of these actual smelters are there in the total build? Uh, 106. I mean, like, how many of these actual smelter banks what, are there? What do you mean? We need six of this. So We need six, six of, of this that. to make 100k iron a minute to supply our 1k packs a minute. And then, is that... Does that include the iron to make steel, yeah. or is that just the iron? Iron to make everything. Iron to make steel... Um, he, he gave me all the okay. numbers, like, some odd, like, 30,000 so, of it goes towards steel, and then the rest goes towards, okay. yeah. And how many of these need to make, and how many of these are on copper, and then how many of these to make steel if we deliver it iron plate and pick up steel plate? Um, I'm not sure on the copper. He gave how much copper we need, so we could easily calculate it, just based on how many, how much this produces. Um... For the steel, he says we need 295 electric furnaces, um, so we could just do like, you would need almost three of these um, making steel like three of this type of design if you just change it to steel. Yeah. 
Yeah, you would need like almost three mm -hmm. for this deal. As well as the six, just for the iron blade. Correct. Yeah. And then the unknown number for the copper, and probably one for stone, which could put, pair up with the third steel one. And People this... doing them in pairs. Yeah. Because this is um, an independent, like each module is an independent RoboPort network, so this could potentially be uh, like away from the main base. That's the idea. Well, yeah, that's completely. Yeah. Each to keep the bot network size down, we break it up into smaller botnets and use the trains to bridge. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then we'll take all this plate, because obviously it gets put back onto a train. We'll take it to a circuit factory, which I guess it'll be a similar sort of design. It'll just obviously be assembly machines instead of furnaces. Uh, do you want to put the blueprint for the smelter in there, please? For Oh, yep. Um, okay, so he, he says we need 37 or 38,000 copper a minute. So like two of these is all we need for copper, and it would oh. be a little overkill. Oh, that's easy enough. Okay. Um, we have smart trains in that enabled, don't we? The mod smart trains? I... I don't think so. It'd be easy enough to get. Because I'm thinking, right, so we need, let's just math this out a sec. Let me grab some boxes, or vi help visualize. What we need. So we need four iron. Six iron. Six iron. All right, so each one of these is one of those smelting setups. Mm -hmm. We then need come on, craft me. Three steel and a stone. And then two uh, I'm Not even using a steel pickaxe. Come on. What the hell am I doing? Do you have two more boxes? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, each one of those represents one of those trains. Mm -hmm. So if you're, I'm going to use belt to represent track. Okay. Uh, so if we had uh, a main line going um, through, mm -hmm. which is this, and then each time, if we split up twice, once for the load from the one below and the unload for the one above. And then it rejoins uh, if we had four tracks going up the middle. Right. So, yeah. If we had I'll use belt again. So if we had output, high speed output down the outside, and then slow input on the outside, when it peels off, and then when it comes back the other way, it joins that one, and then this one would do the same and go that like that. And then obviously the last one would just turn in and go back out. It's not loop based because the output track would start at a dead end like the first one and then the input one would stop so you had the only way to get through it is to spin around in a station okay i think i understand how's that for concept kind uh yeah kind of lost me a little bit but i think i got it no this thing's gonna be massive because if this robot port here that represents the top of the next one below it, without the robot touching. Mm-hmm. 
but we got a big continent of desert to our left. Uh, to our left? Oh, we yeah. can stick it north of the lake. If we design just one bit of it, it's just a blueprint job of one, two, three, four, five, six tiles. If we pair them up. Yeah, and looking at the numbers, the stone, we really only need like half or a third of one of these. A full one for stone is like way, way overkill. All right, so we're just redesigning it slightly smaller, but the track will be the same concept. Yeah. You just cut it in half or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just cut, just chop out of those metals or whatever. Right, yeah. But here we are stone smelting done at the same time. And in theory, yeah, the iron unloads are kept together. So if we have a central stacker at the bottom mm -hmm. and then break them up so top ones are the ones that got to go furthest or something, so copper, copper stacker, iron stacker. Right. I feel like you're still going to have pathing issues. Your turn. Oh, I don't have that's it. I don't idea. have a design that's better. I'm just saying that <laughs> it's so yeah. annoying how the yeah, trains well, work because they're still probably not going to go to like the last two or three. And it's just super tedious to, like you said, to name stations individually. Mm-hmm. Well, that's my idea. Well, you know more about trains than I do, so I guess we'll just go with that. Uh, uh, if that doesn't work, then we will need to... If it doesn't work with vanilla, we're going to have to get smart trains to... Um, when a train stops here, it's going to have to tell it we have to name these six iron stations differently, and the smart trains will have to assign it to a station somehow. Yeah. Which requires fire. And someone that understands how the fiery boxes work <laughs> can make that happen. I reckon it's possible in vanilla. Now that's an interesting idea we haven't done ever before that Swedgen said, I think, in your chat. Mm -hmm. problem with that is that's again even more inserts and stations yeah which does i mean the stations aren't it's bad the... but the inserters yeah no need for more to talk all right so so if zoe's on board then cool well sorry you get to design it for us yep we have built the dumb bit So we need to design a track a split up thing. Let's go. All right. So four lanes of track, middle to an output going north. If there's a station there for unloading or loading, doesn't really matter which. And then here, our job is to connect the input ones to the station okay Oopsie. and then put them to the output one. Oh, so so this one connects both to the or input and plate No, so train comes in here, mm -hmm. loaded with ore, or empty, depending if it's dropping off or picking up. Comes in, loads or unloads, leaves through the output track. Right. And then this... Uh, you don't follow. 
I think I follow. <laughs> I'm probably not explaining it very well. I have a headache with pictures. So I'm trying to build it. Right. I'm just quietly working through my headache with pictures. What's your headache with pictures? Oh, he's way over there. I'm just plotting it out. Yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Hmm. Now, whether that was signal or not, I don't know. <laughs> 